I'm Sam Peterson, author of two books, Trunky Transgender Junkie and Sugar, A Memoir of Craving. I'm an old gay trans man with bad teeth. And I love knives. And I'm not here to rate them or tell you about the newest, the fastest, the bestest, the cup-powest. I'm here to queerly share my queer love of knives with you. Wow. Wow. I scored two really great knives this week. And I can't wait to tell you about them. My burgeoning love for the brand that is Devo is well documented by now. So when they said they were going to drop a few new versions of the Devo mesh, as you can see here, there's a carbon fiber, a flamed tie, and what they're calling bronze titanium. Um, when, you, when you see what I got, you'll appreciate my decision. It is a badass blade. Man, I'm so excited about it. The artist formerly known as Nafsale, now going by Blade Binge Gag. Let's, let's pause here. I feel like many of us, me, do not wish to be reminded that we have a habit of spending our last dime on knives. I'm pretty sure and since I am a former junkie, uh, that nobody really appreciates an entire website pointing it out to them titularly and saying, ha ha, bud, you've got a problem and we're going to exploit it. Blade binge. Oi, oi, oi. I know, they thought they were being cute. Blade binge. Well, newsflash, it's not. I'm sorry, blade binge. Anyway, they were selling a version of the mash, the dark mode mash, in black titanium, 154 cm, and uh, with uh, teal accents, pivot accents. Baby, I had to jump on that shit. So, so I set my little calendar, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Here she is. Kapow! Wow. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this knife. This knife was a hundred and fifty bucks, y'all. A buck fifty. I know, I know, it's 154 cm, but the quality of this blade, this knife, is this build is stunning. It's striking, it's exquisite. For someone like me, who doesn't have a lot of cash on hand, to be able to afford this level of quality, I see you, Devo Knives. I see you, and I appreciate. Look at this blade shape. Look at it. <laughs> This kind of blade shape is so utilitarian. It's one of my favorites. You know, I've been looking at a lot of high-end uh, and custom knives, just really just for education. Um, and you probably already know this. They often choose a, a good but mid-grade steel for their knives. And I'm speculating it's because when you purchase a thousand dollar knife, say, you are more interested in the artistry, the, the build, the finesse, not the steel that, you know, a so-called premium steel. Um, I mean, let's face it, if those of you who are able to buy thousands of dollars worth of knives probably don't carry them. I can't imagine, you know, my $1,200 knife being a user, but, you know, if you have that much money, cool, good on you. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Anyway, I really digressed. You tell me, I'm here to learn, right? The second knife I got, I traded for with a guy. He had seen my Wee Praxis, which is a very good um, dystopian aesthetic, fantastic knife that I really enjoyed. And it was for sale on a page. And um, he DM'd me and asked me if I wanted to trade. 
Well, trade I did, honey. And, well, look at this fucker. This is the We Esprit. Now, I'm queer, so I can say this. That is a very gay name. I mean old school homosexual. Esprit. Esprit. Joie de vie. But it's not a gay blade. It's a Ray Laconico. Now, I can't speak to Ray's sexuality, but I can speak to his knives. I've had quite a few Laconicos, uh, and this is a classic shape. His knives all have these kind of similar Laconic shape. Um, I mean, if there's any such thing as a Laconic knife, Ray literally makes it. There's almost this sort of lazy, laid-back ease to his style. A comfort, an unfussiness, while being really appealing, I think. This particular knife, inflamed titanium, uh, and probably 20 CV because it's a wee knife, and that's all wee seems to do, very committed to CPM 20 CV, wee is. It's, it's, it's almost their brand. This is an exceptional knife. It retails for two, $219, and it's worth every penny. Like the Devo Mash, it is incredibly, it, it, it's well built. It is a good looking, high quality knife. In fact, they are very, very similar in terms of quality. I have bought other Wii knives at that price range, uh, price point, as people like to say, and I've been mildly disappointed. Like, very Wii light. This is a fully grown blade with all the craft and quality that Wii brings to their usual $300 knives. Both of these knives are just so well built, so easy on the eye, such handsome lads. The Flame Titanium brings the Esprit into this kind of butch dandy territory. And I'm here for it. The Mash looks like it's dressed to go to a really hot fetish party to like flog some butts. And I'm here for that too. I got some goodies for next week. I bought um, a Beater Demco for 150 bucks to gussy up, and I can't wait to share that with you. Uh, so until next week, keep up your knife style esprit de corps and joie de vivre, uh, and live, laugh, love, pal. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, 